Bro, I literally got alopecia from that shit. <laughs> Damn. Being this young and taking random drugs and random dosing schedules is exactly as chaotic as it sounds. <laughs> that. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. I'm an exercise and sports science professor at Lehman College and the co-creator of the RP Hypertrophy app. The Trend Twins have a video on, well, drugs. Maybe Trend even, definitely anabolics. Let us appraise their knowledge and see what kind of grade they score on the Dr. Mike's scale of do you know things and how well. Let's get to it. Today, we're gonna be talking about what it's like to walk around with a test of five men. Hey, I got the test of 10 men. I was born, born and raised in New Jersey. Where are these guys from? They look sort of Italian. I'm from the Metro Detroit area. Maybe they're Chaldean. I don't know. Like 10 men, ten army. army, with the height of one man, with the <laughs> width of four. <laughs> Hopping on steroids, it's a lot like you get a fast car here. You know, she comes stock pretty fast. But you want to add some horsepower to that baby. This is the bro ass shit ever. I love it. I'm here for it all day long. Car analogy, which you guys know I love. See, we want to mog in the gym and we want to mog on the way to the gym. Mog, male of the group, derived from amog, alpha male of the group. That is an attitude in which you are the superlative, you are the omega wolf, you are in charge, and you have a lot of confidence. And if you want to have a lot of confidence in the gym and for other males of your generational age to be impressed with your level of confidence and really feel your swag, I assume the sequence here is going to be be jacked and be on tons of steroids so you can feel like a confident person. There are certainly other ways to getting that. This is sure shit one of them. Be an absolute machine on me, you know. A menace in the gym and a menace on the road. Karen's yelling at me. Karen's getting mad at me because I'm taking my shirt off. I'm looking like a sick bastard. Double buy. Okay, so we're in the gym now to make Caucasian women in their 40s upset. Karen's excellent. And on the road, he's also a menace, which I assume he means he's encouraging dangerous driving. So far, the Trend Twins seem like just reckless guys. Oh my God, they're kind of dangerous. I kind of want to be around them a lot. Not in their gang, but like, you know, just kind of like, hey, hey, Joey. He's like, hey, I know you. Hey, whoa. Like Grease, the whole movie. Let me tell you, bro, if you're going to take steroids, you better have some f***ing insane patience because me and Mikey do not, and we just... Rage. I have zero patience. These guys are so fing honest. I love it. They're like, hey, look, you want to take steroids? You need fing patience, which I don't fing have. And they say they rage a lot. They're also, I assume, about 20 years old. That's, and, and, and my scale, about five years too young to be doing steroids. A public service announcement if you're in your teens or 20s, in your early 20s, don't do steroids. You got a lot of natural gains up ahead. There's all kinds of really crazy downsides with steroids. They probably make you less intelligent over time. That's fun. And they destroy your health and they make you angry and anxious and prone to bad decision making. It's all good stuff if the trade off is worth it. But up until you're about 25 years old, you can make such crazy natty gains and your brain is still maturing. I wouldn't recommend you do steroids. Bad idea. But if you do have patience, which is absolutely great advice and these guys seemingly don't have it what i don't have in patience i make up for fucking biceps so f out of here any inconvenience i'm going to the gym i'm getting a pump I'm if you don't agree on. with me like i'm gonna punch you in your face if you don't agree with me i'm gonna punch you in your face yeah that definitely how you can feel on steroids sometimes but but don't do that because there's a place for people that punch people in the face when they don't agree it's called jail and uh, you don't want to go to jail. It's a bad time. The first thing about steroids is you ha honestly have to be realistic with yourself, bro. If you think that you're going to just randomly spawn in muscle, that's not how this shit works at all, brother. True. Steroids do work slowly. They just magnify how much gain you're getting from sleeping and eating and training. They don't magically put muscle on your body. Facts. I love it. Thanks, guys, for letting us know. It takes time. Anything that that's worth it takes time, dedication. This shit just doesn't happen over f***ing night. It sure doesn't happen over f***ing night. And also overnight, two different concepts. And it, it's, it's steroids is like the American dream, okay? It's all fun and games until you gotta pay taxes. <laughs> is that the American dream? It's all fun and games until you have to pay taxes. I think if you budget appropriately, you can see that coming. But I think he's gonna say there's downsides to steroids, I hope. Let's find out. <laughs> and those taxes is your f***ing nutsack, your liver, your organs, <laughs> shit like that. Your Respect. That's all true. We, we've done our time, Natty. Done our time. It sounds like prison. I did my f***ing time. Natural. Four f***ing years up in San Quentin. F***ing terrible. We train actually for eight f 
years, man. I Eight years of natural training is good. But if you started when you were 11 or 12, you still shouldn't be using steroids when you're like 20. I don't know how old all these guys are. I, I have natty accolade, accolades, okay? That's a good flex. Like, hey, remember when Mikey was natty? Some guy in the back of the gym's like, yeah, he was a total f freak. That guy scared the f out of me. Hey, one time he pulled a f knife to my face and he was like, oh, f natty, you understand? And I was like, well, of course you are, buddy. Hey. It changes your body composition. You mod a car, you go from 500 horsepower and, you, and then you're getting a thousand. I love it. Guys, the, the gains aren't instant. But you go from 500 horsepower to 1,000 horsepower just by buying a new car. Uh, which one of those analogies is more accurate? I wonder. Most of the car stays the same. There's a few components that are changing in our bodies when you take gear. See, uh, one thing would be your hormones. Yes, your hormones do change when you take extra hormones. Them bitches are never going to be the same. Even if you PCT, <laughs> you probably will not have the same uh, hormone levels as you had before you hopped on. If you do PCT, there's a very high probability that you'll have the identical hormone levels as before you hopped on. So that's actually not true. And honestly, taking steroids is kind of like cyberpunk. You know how when they're adding in like all that cyberware and shit, they go into cyberpsychosis, handle the f***ing like power that's how steroids are i'm not gonna lie to you of course everyone knows about cyber psychosis i live in that state daily <laughs> the mental side effects they're all real like they're all we got cyber psychosis you get, yeah <laughs> manic like a mother mental side effects are all real thanks fellas for letting us know for real that's that's an important thing you're so dedicated i was already a hard worker i had the f grind dedication for this shit and then you add on all the other shit that's going to take it to a next level it's like you you're, you're hyper focused bro like, yeah you got the blinders on you, you're you got tunnel vision all you can see is a fucking goal i mean huh steroids do make things more intense in your head i don't know if they improve your focus as much as the guys are saying then again i have never been on that much trend before remain humble i try and uh recognize my see mikey don't, i can't even process of what mikey's saying he's all over the Place. That's not wrong. Steroids do occasionally cause you to be all over the place. Uh, like he said, psychosis, mania. My ass cheek fucking hurts. Oh, oh man. Steroids. A little about the process of taking steroids, bro. It is so fucking scary. One, the shit that you think you're getting, bro, like it, the, it's all watered down. Yeah, you don't really know what you're getting ever, for sure. Since the 70s, this shit is not farmer grade anymore. I mean, how much can I say here without laying my cards out on the table? You can get pharma grade gear. It's not that hard. But uh, young fellas like themselves, they learn some good lessons doing bathtub shit, so I won't get in their way. It could be oil Unless in there, you know it could somebody. be random shit in there. Like, Yeah, listen, this is great advice if you're just buying random steroids from a random guy at the gym. If you know what you're getting, for sure. The crazy part is a lot of a lot of the <laughs> early beginnings of steroids, you literally had to learn about it through other people's experiences. It's like a science experience. You learn from Reddit. Yeah, gotta go on a, go on a lot of Reddit. Seriously, or, or want to hop on, you have to go through. Like, you brother, have to get a coach. Great advice. You, if you're gonna use anabolics, if they're legal in your jurisdiction, if you're over the age of 25, if you made all the right trade offs and choices, doing it with a coach and ideally with medical supervision is absolutely the way to go. If you just read about some stuff on Reddit and you take some pills you got shipped from India three weeks ago, you know, it could go very well for you or it could go not very well. And I would not suggest steroids to anyone unless you want to be a, you want to take your shit to the next level. You already have your training, your diet together. Absolutely great advice. Don't use steroids until you have your training and your diet and everything really squared away because then for that super boost, you're in the right position to accept it. But if you're just using steroids to get to some place, you actually successfully get to just looking like you lift and then people are like, oh, well, you're drug free. You have so much ahead of you. And you're like, well, actually, no, I'm already on steroids. Instead of putting in the effort on food, on quality training and on rest and relaxation, I put it into drugs first. Bad idea. Let me tell you guys about the RP Hypertrophy app. With over 28 preset programs already in the app, you can choose to make your own, you can modify an existing program, or you can just run the programs exactly as they were written by me personally. This app programs everything for you. Exercises, weights, sets, reps, frequency, the whole thing. After every single workout on every single week, the app adjusts to your unique parameters with every single input. We have over 250 exercises in the app with detailed video tutorial links to every single one. You never have to be confused about technique or form ever again. I'm guessing right now you're pretty interested in the app? Download the RP Hypertrophy app today.
And me and Chris, we're young dudes. So it's Chris and Mikey. Hey, Chris. Hey, Mikey. Whoa. We're young. Damn. Damn. We're young guys. We're 22 years old. 22 years old. Too early for steroids. All right. If you watch our old videos, you think, okay, yeah, these guys look like they're 20. Now I look like I'm 25. I mean, right. you do, per se. Bro. Oh, shit, we got beef. We failed in time and time again, and we're tr just trying to get it right, bro, and we just don't want people to go through that, you know? Even on prep, we're going through failures, and, you know, it's just a learning process. Prep? Are they doing a bodybuilding show or a powerlifting meet? Dude, one time I looked up the estrogen blocker I was taking. Bodybuilding show, I think, for estrogen blocker. It said breast cancer treatment. That's how f***ed up this shit is, guys. I'm taking breast cancer treatment so I don't get breast. I thought I was supposed to take that shit like, you know, every day. You're supposed to take it once or twice a week. Bro, I literally got alopecia from that shit. <laughs> Damn. Being this young and taking random drugs at random dosing schedules is exactly as chaotic as it sounds. That. Get a coach, folks. And, and these guys are great because they're saying, don't do this. Get a coach. I took it every day. Like, my hair started falling out. Still got a lot of hair left as far as I can tell. Big part of why we're talking about this now is because, because like, we have the experience one now, and I feel like it's our duty. And now we have a whole healthcare team. Damn, they have a healthcare team. TikTok's doing you good. If you guys are familiar with more plates, more dates. Of course, more plates, more dates. Who isn't? He's like the most humble, like, guy on the fucking internet. Is that really true? I wonder. He's literally the godfather of steroids. Just has broken down every little bit about him. He's the godfather of steroids. Folks, Google Dan Duchesne and about 20 other people come way before that. But lest I digress saying unkind things, I will continue. He has this parent company called Merrick Health and they've started sponsoring us because through this prep, because we knew we were going to hop on more gear. came, did our blood work before we hopped on more. They literally came to the house. Well, what can I say? As far as leading by example, this is of course terrible. They're way too young to be using. They've made all the mistakes using. As far as lessons they got from it, now they're in contact with Merrick Health to take care of their health, have a team around them doing things in a logical manner, and knowing that they had done some stupid things in the past and teaching the folks about it, I, I largely approve. This is quite good. So um, I'll say this since I can't really rate this video. It's better that they made this video than if they hadn't. And that's approval enough for me. All right. See you guys next time.